Welcome back to the New Home Real Estate Show. I'm Alan Kruger with Keller Williams Elite Realty. Joined on the phone right now with Denise McIntosh with Genesis Kitchen and Design. And Denise, welcome to the show. Thank you, Alan. Now, Denise, a lot of people this time of year, uh, they've been cooped up indoors because of the uh, the weather, uh, although recently we've had a couple of sunny days, but they might be looking at their kitchen now thinking it's looking a little tired. What do you guys offer at Genesis Kitchen and Design? What we offer at Genesis is full design services specializing in kitchen and bath. We do everything from designing um, the project itself and the whole design concept to specifying material, helping select colors, countertops, the products that will go into the renovation, right down to supplying the cabinets, countertops, tile for your backsplash, flooring tile, uh, bathroom fixtures, plumbing fixtures. So we can do as much or as little as a client needs. I'm guessing you see people like that who are some people, you know what, we just need a we just need a new countertop or something and there's other people, you know, take it down to the studs. Absolutely. We can just help you re and re your countertops or just it might just be a backsplash they're looking for. And other people will want the whole wall taken out. We have contractors that can come in, do your electrical, your plumbing, any drywall work that needs to be done as far as full renovations. So as far as a budget is concerned, what would kind of a a typical budget be for kitchen renovation? Kitchen renovations are sort of all over the map. It depends on the products that are chosen. There's so many products out there today, and they're all different price points. On an average kitchen, if you were to say a small 10 by 10 kitchen with middle of the road, good products, good warranties, you're probably looking at around 20 to 30,000. If you wanted to jump that up and you're a mid-size, you're probably 30 to 50. And a large kitchen with higher end products and a lot of renovation work, you're going to be anywhere um, upwards of 50,000. So I guess it all starts with a consultation. All starts with consultation and just to see what the scope of work involves. One thing I should ask too about how long does it actually take to, uh, from start to finish, from a meeting with you to actually have the renovation take place? It, it varies depending on the scope of the job and also how many revisions we do in the design stage. If we come in, do our comp- complimentary consultation, meet the client, sit down, and we get everything nailed pretty quickly as far as the design goes, give yourself about two weeks. Then cabinets are running about four to six weeks for manufacturing. So what we would then do is work with our contractors backwards from the completion of the cabinet. So if they need about two weeks of prep work, then we would say two weeks from that point, we'll we'll get the contractors in there, start the tear out and go. Once the cabinets are installed after that two week period or three, depending on the contractor, then uh, it's about two more weeks for your countertops. So you're probably looking anywhere from start to finish, eight to 10 weeks. Now, in terms of uh, styles and trends, uh, is there a color trend or material that seems to be popular right now? Right now, grays are the new neutral. Um, We were looking at a very contemporary feel right now, a lot of straight lines, a lot of um, clean looking waterfall countertops. And what I mean by that is when you've got your countertop that goes down the sides of your island or on the ends of a peninsula and the counter continues right down to the floor. So we're wrapping countertops, doing that sort of look. So a little bit more contemporary, but in a renovation, a lot of times we're dealing with an older home, so we want to make sure that we tie it into what you have existing. So we do what we call transitional, and the transitional look cleans it up, modernizes it, but keeps it in standing with the existing home. It would kind of stick out in terms of, well, the rest of the house needs updating too. Absolutely. (laughs) And if you have a very traditional home, you want to make sure that you're not fighting with that as far as a style perspective goes. We talked about the color. What's kind of in for countertops? Because countertops are big in people's minds. Right now, we're seeing a real trend towards the quartz countertops. The nice thing with the quartz is it's an engineered product that's manufactured of about 95% natural materials. And then it has the bonding agents in it that are the um, non-natural materials. But what that does is it allows it to be a non-porous product, so you're not getting any penetration, whereas, you know, some of the countertop stones out there, you need to to be sealed, you need some maintenance work on that. And also having a non-porous material like quartz, there's no bacterial growth. So that being said, granite is still very popular. Um, Some of the different marbles are still out there, although they are a much softer finish, and you have to be very careful about the application when using natural stones. And what about for flooring? We're finding a trend going towards softness 
in the kitchens right now where people don't want to be standing on the hard tile and hard stone anymore. So there's a number of products that have come out that are just wonderful, that are variations of a, a look for hardwood or a look for tile, but are much softer in a vinyl or more uh, softer materials that they're manufacturing out of. So we're finding that there's a real trend going towards the softer materials in the kitchen. And what about appliances? I mean, overall, it seemed like for the longest time, people were, it's got to be stainless steel. It's got to be stainless steel. What's happening appliance-wise? We're still seeing a lot of the stainless steel out there. Um, now what we're seeing is a little bit of the European trends are coming in. They're coming out with the vibrant colors. So you might see something in red or, or the blue. So we're starting to see a little bit of pop of color to the appliances. But overall, stainless steel is probably still one of the most popular they're coming out now with stainless steel that it doesn't show the fingerprints as much because, of course, that's always been an issue for some people in going that direction. Right. So now they're coming in out with much better finishes on the stainless that aren't so high maintenance. Denise, what do you see in trends as far as the backsplash is concerned? Backsplash is one of the areas that we can have a lot of fun with. So we're seeing still a lot of the glass tiles, some of the subway look a bit, um, a lot of beautiful mosaics are coming out now. So you can really sort of kick up your kitchen with the backsplash. It's almost like the accessory to the outfit. Now, Denise, with the Genesis Kitchen and Design, uh, it's not just kitchens. So what else do you guys do? We do... Basically, every part of the home, we do bathrooms, we do media areas, we do bars, we do built-ins. We're finding a lot of times when we go into a home and we start out doing the kitchen, we're carrying it right through to the family room and we're doing the entertainment centers and built-ins. We do closets, wardrobes, uh, basically anything that needs to be done and we can help with everything from choosing paint color to flooring to contractors and the full renovation. In terms of paint color, does there seem to be a trend uh, this year? Uh, this year, we're still seeing a lot of the, the softer grays and warm grays and mushrooms. We're still seeing a lot of that going into the homes that complement, of course, the, the grays in a lot of the countertops and cabinetry that we're seeing going in. So it's all sort of ties together. And then there again, you know, we still have that pop of color with coordinating that all together. So sometimes we want to just accent with something. So we will still see some of the bolder, bolder colors as well. So Denise, if somebody's looking to do an update, be it their kitchen or elsewhere in their home, what's the first step? First step is to contact us, set up an appointment, and we'll come into the home and do a complimentary consultation and sit down with the client to find out exactly what they're looking to do, what their lifestyle is like and how they work in their space. And then we can start the ball rolling from there. And if you'd like to check you out online, where can you be found? Our website is www.genesiskitchens.ca. And the phone number to get in touch? 604-937-7336 is our main showroom. And I also take calls on my cell, 604-789-9935. And I should mention, too, that you're right in Coquitlam. We are. We're right on Ridgeway in Austin Heights. Denise McIntosh with Genesis Kitchen and Design, and you're listening to the New Home Real Estate Show on 98.7 CKPM-FM.